In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you how to change the timeline track order. This is a feature available only for PowerDirector 18 users, the brand new version, or if you're a subscriber to PowerDirector 365. Let's talk about what we're dealing with in this particular feature. Traditionally in CyberLink PowerDirector, if you want to put something on top or overlay it on another track, physically you put it on a lower or higher numbered track. For example, in the, what we have here, I have a text, I have a title on track number two overlaying the video on track number one. And when I play it, I get what I expect. The title comes above my video clip, not underneath it where I wouldn't see it at all. Let me give you another example of that same kind of feature. Let's take our media content and simply go to a color board. I'll take a, something green here, drag it down to video track number three. And because it is on track three, which is physically lower than track number one or two, it simply overlays anything that is on the lower number track, but is physically higher up. Now there are some video editors that use in an opposite stacking order. You could think of Adobe's Premiere or Adobe Premiere Elements or Media Composer or Media Composer First and there may be others. What they have done is given you the option of going in either stacking direction. So I'm going to minimize my window a little bit so you can see the tracks better. If I want to emulate what I see in some other programs, or if I think it, it's just more intuitive for me to put the higher number tracks that stack one upon another in a physical kind of stacking order where the top stacks on the bottom like boxes, I can change that feature very easily in the new version of PowerDirector. All I need to do is click on the settings at the top. That's the little gear. I click on that and then I go to the second option which is editing. When I click on editing I now have a new feature which says reverse timeline track order, track one at bottom. I'm going to click on that and then click on OK. And one thing I like is you don't have to back out of the project or start all over again. It simply re reverses the stacking order of the tracks. It doesn't change the numbering system, but now track one is at the bottom, two is in the middle, and three is at the top. And they still function the way they did. Nothing moves, nothing changes, but if this is more intuitive for you, or if it matches something you've been using in another kind of video editing application and you don't want to change, it's a very easy way to flip from one to the other. And you can go back and forth as much as you want. For example, I'm going to go back to my settings, back to my editing function, and uncheck the box, and then click on OK, and it's reversed in the way in, in which you've seen it traditionally in CyberLink PowerDirector. So this is a nice feature for existing editors, new people who want to try the program, uh, so that you can adjust this particular feature to fit the style that works best for you.